Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I've made a video. Not a lot has been going on here. School's out because of the COVID-19. So, um, I'm doing nothing but sitting at the house. I've cleaned and cleaned and cleaned. My house is clean. But today, I was given the most amazing thing ever. I know it's silly, but let me show you. I was given a bale of hay. Yes, I emphasized on the hay. Um, the kids have been bringing home boxes because they are still working. So I'm going to take off all of the tape that's on there, if there is any tape, and I'm going to lay down our garden. We attempted, well, my landlord attempted to till it, but he said it's super, super thick. It's beautiful dark soil. He said, but it's like clay soil. And we, he even tried tilling it after two weeks of no rain. Once again, we've had rain, so now he can't get in here at all. This is what happens with just a little bit of rain. This is from him dropping off the bale of hay today. So it tells you how wet my area is. The only thing I can do now is either do raised garden beds, which I don't have the lumber for, or do this no-till garden and build it up. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to rake out some of these areas where the bumps are, like way back there, and I'm gonna to try to flatten it back out. And then I'm going to put my cardboard on there and start putting hay on there. Let it break down and build up and I'll have a no-till garden. I'll be able to garden, go ahead and garden this year after all, because right now it's too wet. And all of my seeds are going to just disappear. So, yay! I'm gonna leave you on some time lapse of me working on my garden. As you can tell, I did not have enough cardboard to cover this 75 by 45 foot garden. We're gonna need a lot more. This is what the kids are bringing home when they get done from work. Look how muddy it is. Ugh. And that is why I have to do a no-till garden. I have to build up the ground where I am in order to make it a sustaining garden for years and years to come. And now, to put the hay on it. There you have it. I'm out of breath. Sorry, guys. Um, yes, hay isn't the best thing to use, but it'll work. I've been trying to contact tree services around here to see if they have mulchers, see if they could dump their mulch on my property. No luck on that. So, hay has to be it. Every year, we'll just keep adding more and more cardboard, newspapers, um, shavings, goat poop, cow poo on here, and just make it this rich, awesome ground for me to grow on every single year. Eventually this garden is going to expand this way to the bricks. So it'll probably, by the time I'm done, it may be 100 by 100, I'm not for sure. I don't know yet. Um, back there is going to be my orchard. There's some smaller trees back there, but nothing big that could produce anything this year. So that's our metal pile from everything that was metal in the house and in the barn. These are trees we cut down. So I'm going to burn the ash and put the ash on my garden. So 
As you can tell, I have quite a bit of hay left. I think it may take one more bale of hay after this. Maybe two. I'm not for sure. But I'll keep you updated on everything that's going on.